Hi there and welcome. This is Kim here to do a reading for Taurus because Taurus, you all had the most views out of every sign. So I am doing a bonus reading for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate the support and I appreciate the support of those of you who have gotten a private reading. If you're interested in that, it's in the description box below. Let's get into your messages. Taurus energy asking that the spirit guides and your angels join us as we drop into our heart space the way I connect is I put my hand over my heart while I breathe in through my nose I hold for a few seconds and then I let it out really slowly a little bit longer on the exhale than the inhale and I do that for about three to four times and that's how I drop into my heart space that essentially is connecting your feelings to um your intellect so like your intuition to your intellect so let's do that oh, right now okay all right Taurus let's get to this I'm gonna use the modern witch tarot Let's pull a Celtic cross bonus spread for Taurus. What's the issue? We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting to do something or waiting on something. Oh, it feels like we're waiting. Gosh, this feeling feels like oh, I've been waiting for a while. Oh, I've been waiting for a while. Oh, I want this change. I want this change. I like being steady and I like being sure and I like being fixed, <laughs> but won't this change? That's what I'm getting. The hanged one. Maybe Virgo energy. You know, the hang one is good in the sense that we wait so long that it's like, okay, um, spirit wanted you to notice something. That's why you're still waiting. And, and it's usually just being aware of something that gets us moving. So what is it that we're not completely aware of? Maybe that's what we should think of. And maybe this is all about divine timing, Taurus. This is going to be individual to you. But there's still something calling to me about that tree saying that it's time to get down. What's the challenge to this waiting? <laughs> okay, the challenge is healing a situation. There's something that we're holding on to. <sighs> There's something that we're holding on to that really hurts. Um, yeah, because it's like, no, nope, I'm not forgiving that. I'm not moved past that yet. It's not enough time. I don't know when it's going to be enough time, but it's not enough time. This energy, I'm picking up with that. Libra energy. Let's keep going. Need to have a timeout. That it might be the challenge, needing to have a timeout. Also, uh, Six of Swords, you may be leaving. You may be going somewhere. This may be in your thoughts. You know, so Swords are usually thoughts. Um, and since we are waiting, then maybe it's having a different perspective of how you think things will turn out. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the process of your thinking? What do you think the process is going to be like? Do you imagine yourself going from stormy times to something much better? Or are you always telling yourself it's never going to end? So watch what you're telling yourself and um, be open to moving away from one kind of thinking to another here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't have that quite right for you all. Let me... Okay. What's the past energy here? That might be Aquarius energy too. Past for Taurus, the devil the devil something happened in the past i have wheel of fortune on the in the reverse so something happened in the past where we are, are looking back and thinking no that was not a good thing that was not good fortune i don't feel like that was good fortune at all i didn't deserve that or whatever the message is but there's some kind of unhealthy attachment that we're holding on to and i mean Taurus energy, it, it likes, it, it is fixed, kind of like Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. They like things to be the same. 
I don't really like much change because they relate that to loyalty and stability. But at what point does loyalty and stability become a block? Become an actual block for your progress? You know what I'm saying? So this past energy is like living in the shadow. I don't know why, but we're not wanting to deal with it. When the devil is upright like that, we're not wanting to deal with it. We're actually just accepting the shadow, which, you know, is part of the process. <laughs> part of the process is accepting it. Um, but eventually there's change doors. Capricorn energy. What's the present moment about? Ah, the nine of wands as it kicked into your uh, six of swords. Leaving something behind for uh, something much more smooth, right? And the nine of wands in the reverse is, I am finally giving up this fight. I know that sounds like it's not encouraging, but there's something that we have to give up on in order to move forward. Because we won't progress if we don't give up on this. I don't know what this is. It's going to be different for everybody. Sagittarius energy, possibly. What's the future energy looking like? Seven of Cups in the reverse. You see things a lot clearer here in the future energy. So in the future energy, things become clear and you kind of get an understanding of where you are. And, and I believe you feel like you know why you're still there or or what is it that you're going to do maybe it's you're getting clear on your intentions that's another thing yeah you might be getting really clear on your intentions how do you feel like the two of cups and it keeps hitting into the six of six of swords you notice this leaving 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 something's leaving two cups energy um Real love. You have real love for a situation. Oh, <laughs> and I don't doubt that, Taurus. I don't doubt that you have real love for a situation. But it still needs to change. But it still needs to change. Harmonious partnerships. And the partnerships that you actually stop on, quit on, they don't actually end. They just go their separate ways. So you're feeling really good. In the environment, the Eight of Wands. Communication coming in pretty fast. So communi either communication, or you could look at this as being hit by Cupid's arrow. You could look, you could look at it like that. Um, Something coming in fast. Something that will move you forward fast. Communication. There's the seven of pentacles on what you hope and fear. That all you invested won't be worth anything. Yes. Okay. Here. Let me go ahead and be the voice of reason. What you've invested is never wasted. Everything you have learned, everything you have experienced, even how you have had to learn your lessons is not wasted. Every single thing you can use for your growth. Seven of Pentacles, your energy, choices, contemplation, possibly the King of Swords energy in reverse, which I'm feeling like if, if it's not an Aquarius energy here at the root of the issue, some of you all, the root of the issue is an Aquarius person, somebody who's not being very kind to you, honestly. Um, but if this isn't, if that doesn't resonate with you, then it's about releasing control so that things get into a flow state. That's why we release control or we surrender control. Because we allow spirit to do their thing too. It's a little bit harder to trust what we can't see. I know that. Two of swords in the reverse. And the king of wands. Leo energy, two of swords in the reverse is like... Um, now you see clearly there's a decision that has to be made. 
okay? It, it, it might not come to a peaceful resolution. I'll be honest. Either way, you've done something incredible with the King of Wands. You're inspirational, and it's still a victory. No matter what, it's still a victory. So let's get some clarifying cards. Oh, I hate to even show you this. On the bottom is the Three of Swords. So I don't know. I kind of feel like the healing thing might be a Three of Swords energy that just doesn't want to let go. You know what I mean? Just like I can't get over that type of deal. And that, that might be the issue. It's just not being, over, not being able to get over something. This is vice versa tarot. Let's go ahead and use this. What's the Six of Swords about? Since it seems to be very... Four Cups reverse. Need for a fresh start. Look, the ship has sailed. You need to be on the ship. <laughs> the ship has sailed. Time to get on the ship. <sighs> okay, what's the Seven of Cups? What can you see clearly? That you can't carry the whole load by yourself anymore. You've been carrying something by yourself for a very long time here, Taurus. And the time for that, for postponing decisions about how much you're carrying and what you need to let go of, that time's over. This will be too much for you to carry. This is actually not even all your weight. What needs to be healed with the Four Swords in reverse? Wow, that came quick. <laughs> you need to find your passion, your drive, and your inspiration again. You know? It's like the world is your oyster. What do you want to envision? Because that's what you have available. And there's something about the passion that needs to be uh, inserted a little bit more. Why do you feel like the Two of Cups? What's the Two of Cups? Hmm. Three Cups. Maybe the reverse. It's what you're offering up. It's what you're ready to give up in order to have this celebration. This um, abundance come to you. It's what you're willing to give up. And that's what I'm going to read it as. Um, I'm not reading it as anything else, actually. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands, mm. with the Queen of Wands. Being bold, being daring, and taking a chance. Maybe even some really swift communication regarding your skills, talents, abilities. You're still appearing, look, here's the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Soulmate energy in your connection. See the King of Swords in reverse. What is that about? It's about temperance, which is divine timing, balance, patience. There is something that feels like it's just heating up. Um, it, it may be adversity. It may be people with way different opinions than you. But if I know Taurus, they're pretty headstrong with what they believe in. They're not going to stand up and say they believe in something if they don't really believe in something. Not a Taurus. So this is all in divine timing. If there's people that, that are involved in this situation, like three, you know, there's more than three groups. They might not be going, getting along right now, but the temperance energy is here to calm that situation down. And I think that that's great. That's great. All right, so Aries, Sagittarius, what do you have for the Two of Swords in reverse? What is up for that decision that has to be made, can't be postponed any longer? Has to do with travel and, and assessing what's not moving forward and why. That's what we're assessing, Cancer Energy. And that's what I've got for you guys. Thanks, Tori, so much for... Um, your likes, shares, subscribes. I appreciate all of you all so very much. Let's get something from the Lovers Oracle too to wrap up your reading. Goodness. Okay. I have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Look inside yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. 
You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is a higher purpose in the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Sending you love and light as always. Bye, Taurus.